And the Supreme Court hears arguments today in an affirmative action case. It is a challenge to a Michigan law that says race cannot be a factor in college admissions. The result could be felt nationwide. Jan Crawford is at the Supreme Court. Jan, good morning. So what would this mean? Well, you know, Nora, voters in Michigan and other states across the country passed these bans on affirmative action after the Supreme Court actually refused to outlaw all racial preferences. So now what this would mean is if the court allows these kind of bans in Michigan and other states, you could see affirmative action across the country going out the door. In the battle over affirmative action, Michigan is front and center. After the Supreme Court refused in 2003 to end affirmative action programs at the University of Michigan Law School, voters approved Proposition 2, amending the state constitution to prohibit admissions programs that give preferential treatment to or discriminate against people based on their race. Michigan Attorney General Bill Schutte said voters wanted to take race out of decision making. It's an expression that in Michigan, we think it's wrong, fundamentally wrong, to treat people differently based on their race or the color of their skin. Michigan is not alone. Five other states have similar bans outlawing the use of racial preferences. But supporters of affirmative action say Proposal 2 amounts to racial discrimination by rigging the political process against minorities. The Federal Appeals Court agreed and struck down Proposal 2, saying it made it too hard for minorities to change policies that affect them. What Prop 2 has done is allowed the majority to take away the policy that the university has for hearing everybody's voice. So essentially the will of the majority has silenced the minority. Rosie Sabeo and her husband Matthew Countryman are professors at the University of Michigan. They say the ban has cut minority enrollment by a third and had a negative effect in the classroom. As a group, they feel less a part of things, less able to, to participate in the give and take of the institution. Now, opponents of affirmative action say the way to increase minority enrollment is actually to improve educational opportunities for students before they get to college. Supporters say, look, that just doesn't work. And if the court upholds this Michigan ban, they say it is certain that other states across the country will pass similar laws. Charlie, Nora Gale. All right. Thank you, Jan.